ABC News, the country's premier news brand, where Americans go to see the whole picture. Together with Yahoo News, the world's number one news site on the web, this is America's number one digital news source. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Rena Nine, and with the top stories on this Monday, September 23rd. There's been an apparent end to that siege at a shopping mall in Kenya. Officials there claim most of the hostages have been rescued, but a top leader of the terror group behind the attack tells the BBC there will be no negotiations. The State Department says five U.S. citizens were among the more than 175 injured, but no Americans are among those reported killed. Well, a desperate pilot who was quickly running out of options decided to turn one of the most famous roadways in Chicago into a landing strip. When John Peterson's small plane started shaking violently yesterday morning, the best place he could find to set it down was Chicago's Lakeshore Drive. Two cars clipped the wing of the plane, but amazingly, no one was injured. Peterson will face no charges. A mainstay in downtown Houston for more than six decades is nothing more than a mere memory. This morning, it took just a few seconds for the 10-story Macy's Building department store to implode in a cloud of dust. The building opened as a folly store back in 1947, and it was rebranded as Macy's six years ago. The demolition clears the way for a new office and retail center. Well, a 19-week-old polar bear here named Henry making his first public appearance in Queensland, Australia over the weekend. Henry explored his new surroundings with mom at his side, frolicking in the ice and the water. Didn't seem to mind the visitors were watching him play. He only weighs 33 pounds. By the time he's full grown, he will tip the scales at 1,100 pounds. Pretty darn cute, Oh, eh? adorable. I want to cozy up to that one. No doubt. <laughs> Not when they're 1,100 pounds, though. <laughs> no. Time to keep them in the zoo, then. All right, <laughs> get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Rena Nine, and thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.